What's up guys and today we got the playoff with Garrett Blunt. Now this review did not take that long because going into it I knew right away what he was going to be able to do best but the real question was how good is he or how, how good was he going to be compared to the other power backs that I reviewed so here we go. 6 feet tall, 90 speed, 86 agility, 95 ball carry, 96 or 86 juke, 96 truck, 96 carry, 93 excel and 81 elusiveness. Now it does also have a 93 spin even though it says 95 but that's because of a chemistry boost from another player and a 96 stiff arm. I believe he has like a 65 catch as well. Hold on let me see. Uh, yeah 65 catch which we'll talk more about that later as well. Now the first thing that I do want to talk about of course is his speed. 90 speed, 93 XL. This right here was the only breakaway run that he had. Every other time when I thought he was gone he would just get caught from behind. You see right there, he almost got caught right there, but thankfully the, the field wasn't that long. But this right here, if you get a breakaway run, get ready to see a lot of that because that happened over and over and over again. You can see another one right here. You think he's gone, but he just doesn't have this, the uh, breakaway speed to get those plays. When it came to catching the ball, 65 catch is his rating, and he caught most of his passes. He did drop two or three, like this right here. So I don't think he's the most reliable when it came to a catching and the uh he does have 96 carry and he only took like i believe maybe five or six hit sticks and believe it or not he actually did fumble once right here so just goes to show man even 96 carry can still fumble in certain moments when it came to the stiff form i got a whole bunch of drag a uh, drag animations like that right there but his highest rating i mean not his highest rating because his stiff form and truck are both 96 but this right here was the most successful trucking by far I think he only had like one failed attempt which was right there which you just saw him fall which is still a good play positive wise because he did get yards out of it but got a lot of these, a whole lot of these animations so if you're going to do anything I say truck. Now as far as the bad plays of course he had his, his uh, bad moments but as far as struggle points obviously don't try to juke or spin with him. I know he has a high spin rating but I just didn't see it so stick to truck and stiff arm. But as far as what he did best man it had to be falling forward and breaking tackles I mean it was ridiculous. Honestly, I don't even think Derrick Henry fell for this much. He is definitely a player that's going to get you the most out of every run most of the time. I mean, look right here. Broke the first tackle and then dragged two or three guys for a few extra yards, man. That is so val uh, valuable. And, of course, the battle-ready chemistry makes it even that much more easier. You can see right here, this play right here sold me on man. Look at that ridiculous effort to get the first down. So that's going to wrap this up, guys. And my opinion on LeGarrette Blunt, my final opinion... Is he the best power back in the game? That title used to belong to a Derrick Henry. And honestly, I think overall, believe it or not, I think LeGarrette Blunt is a just a teeny tiny bit better because of the ability to fall forward so often. And of course, the battle-ready chemistry makes him that much more effective. So I, I, can't be, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think LeGarrette Blunt now holds the title over this Derrick Henry right here. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And... As far as my next review on offense, it's going to be the playoff Jarvis Landry and the uh, tribute Andre Johnson. And on defense, I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the playoff uh, Whitney Merciless. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you boys then. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you boys later. Peace.